Hello friends. It's good to talk to you again after the time that we spent together this spring in our renewal retreat, reflecting on what it was like to live through the season of COVID and then also what it's like to try to find our way out of COVID and what is our new normal look like. Patty's asked me to share a couple of videos that reflect on some of the wisdom that I think carries us into this new season and continues to, I think, support us um, in all different moments in our life. And the first thing I'd like to talk with you about is this idea of liminal space. I'm sure you all remember that conversation that we had on our first evening together when we talked about that place, that that part of the door frame where we are standing when we're no longer in the room that we used to be in and we haven't yet entered into the place that we're gonna inhabit next. We talked about how COVID really thrust all of us, the whole world into liminal space. It moved us out of all of our familiar routines and all the things that we knew about how to do our jobs and spend time with our families and go to work and go to school. And we got to experience some of the really uncomfortableness that liminal space creates for us when it unmoors us from all of those familiar rhythms and all the things that we thought we knew no longer are working. It's a time of great uncertainty. And sometimes our instinct is to rush through it as quickly as, quickly as we can so that we can get back to a place where everything's nailed down, we know what to expect, and things don't feel so uncertain anymore. But I caution you against that whenever you find yourself in liminal space, because liminal space also has some gifts for us. And we talked a little bit about those as well. One of the gifts that liminal space does is it gives us this incredible freedom to, to try out new things, things that we would never ever do because they would upset the apple cart of our old normal. But now that that's gone, we have the opportunity to try new ideas, new ways of being in relationship, new practices, new rhythms in our life. Some of the ways that we experienced that during COVID is we were invited to stop being so busy and many of us experienced the joy of just spending time having dinner with our families. That's part of the gift of liminal space. It's also a place of incredible creativity. It's the place where we really can't fail because we don't have anything that we know that we're doing for certain. We're just trying things out. And so it's a wonderful opportunity to, to try out different hats, to try out different behaviors, to try out different practices to see what feels good and what fits um, and to learn what it is that we're going to take with us from our old life into the new normal and what are some of the new things that we're going to bring with us that we maybe never did before or didn't do as much as we might have liked. Like maybe we're going to continue to have dinners with our families rather than get ourselves so busy in the world. So as you are finding your way out of liminal space and into the new normal. I hope that you're gonna carry with you some of the things that you learned and some of the practices that blessed you. I hope that you'll be able to let go of the things that no longer work and that this idea of liminal space will continue to serve you because our lives in many ways are many, many, many moments of moving through liminal space. That happens for us sometimes by choice when we retire, when we become grandparents, when our children move out of the house. And of course, we know it happens when we wouldn't choose it, when we get sick or somebody we love dearly dies or our jobs change and it wasn't what we would have wanted for ourselves. When those moments come, because they will, remember that liminal space, as uncomfortable as it is, is also a gift and it will help you find new things about yourself that you can carry with you into the new normal.